Hello guys, it's Andrew and today we'll take a look at all the weapons of Nether. This one is the Smith and Riser, which is a light sidearm, good damage. You will find it everywhere on the map. It's really easily found, also the ammo type. But having a gun in this game is really important. Now that the golem is out and you don't want to face him in, in close quarters, you always need some bullets by your side. And also to lock enemy nethers on the spot, like I'm doing right now with the hunter. It's really important and really useful. Try to avoid using a gun when there is just one enemy because you will attract more nethers. Now let's take a look at the hazy tree, which is a really it's really heavy for a side armor, I must say. Also there is a bug on the display say where it says ammo capacity 30, but actually it's 40, and this gun shine really in close quarters because the fire rate is amazing but you have to take in consideration when fighting nethers to really be in, not too greedy when shooting like i'm doing right now i'll waste a lot of bullets that's the downside of this weapon and also it won't have a great range when shooting now we take a look at the key b12 which is a great shotgun it deals Good damage, and considering all the nethers attack you from close distance, shotguns are really the best, in my opinion, to kill all those nethers chasing you. The downside of shotguns is when you roam around and you find people on roof, you won't have the reaction shot ready, you have to switch weapons or run away. But there is another type of shotgun which is really deadly, guys. This shotgun can destroy anyone. It's really fast, it's a gas powered shotgun, not a pump action. Really, really fast and deals a lot of damage. Can destroy any enemy at close quarter. The only downside is that you can kill people from long distances. But at close range, this is the best. Now, the Lopez 45S. This weapon is really balanced, and the best way the things that make shine this weapon is the accuracy. You don't really have to worry about the recoil, you can just pray without praying. <laughs> now we take a look at the Mag 9. You might think this is an MP5, a spray and pray weapon, but actually it has a scope and will shoot on bars, 3 shots every time you click your mouse. And let's take a look, very accurate at close distance and at medium range I might say for uh, this type of weapon it's really fine, the damage is not the best. But really, it's a great weapon for medium range encounters. But the best rifle, in my opinion, is the Mag DR15 because this weapon is good at close range, a nice hip fire, very fast. You can use it automatic, you can use it burst, you can single shot this weapon. It has a scope and you can kill even from the distance. The damage is not the best, but you know, for every situation, this gun is your friend. You find someone on a roof. It got you covered. Someone near you got you covered. Someone on medium range, it got you covered. You can see right now I use my scope and my hip fire and kill them very easily. A really nice gun. Now we'll take a look at the Ray B47. This one, my thing, there is a strange, strange looking gun, but it's a semi automatic rifle. So one shot at a time. And you have to really be careful against nethers because the, with this weapon, since it has a scope, it's really hard to shoot nethers that come near you. And the fact this weapon is good, in my opinion, to kill all the players and to build stealthy. In my opinion, this is the best way to use it. Now we look at the sniper of the game, the Cruzy 3 Hair 14, which is really heavy but deals a lot of damage. This gun is useful. To snipe people, it just don't to kill people because it makes a lot of noise. So don't use it against nether. Just don't. Just use to kill players. And you need the perk to hold your breath when uh, when sniping because without holding your breath, you will see right now. Wait a second. It's really unsteady even at close distance. When you hold your breath, it's steady, and you can kill very easily. If you are the sniper, it's even bad. Okay, now we take a look at the World M15. It's a really nice weapon, the Sivo Eagle of this game. And I can showcase this weapon, demonstrate this weapon because the audio file of the the audio of that weapon is somehow bugged and uh, crashes my whole video. I don't know why. Anyway, that's it guys for the video. 
thank you very much for watching if you want more guides like this guide uh, follow me on youtube and it would be really great because you motivate me to make more videos thank you guys for watching